Hey guys, Bill Competition Cars. We're gonna do a really quick driving video. There's a couple of sprinkles of rain. We've got some rain coming. I know it's sunny on this side, but it's cloudy behind us. I don't drive these cars in the rain, especially after they're detailed. So hop in, Chris, let's try to get this quick driving video before the rain sets in. All right. So we got 73 Olds 98. 70,700 miles, original miles. And um, as I've said in some of the other videos, this is a one-time repaint, very quality repaint. If I had the time, guys, I could scuff and buff this car and make it look like a sheet of glass. I mean, it looks good now. I did the five-stage paint correction. Um, but I would love to see this car take it to the next level with the, with the, with the uh, paint. It is base clear. The car drives great. I put four new tires on it when I got it a few months back. I think I've had it maybe, I don't know, three or four months, I guess. Um, bought this car for nostalgic reasons. I think I also told you in one of the other videos, when I was a kid in 1978-ish, my dad had this exact car. Um, he detailed cars for a living for different new car dealerships up in New Jersey. And in the summertime, you know, my mom worked, so we had no, you know, no babysitters. He couldn't afford to pay for babysitters, so I would go to work for him, to go to work with him. So at eight, nine, 10 years old, I was waxing the bumpers and you know, cleaning the wheels on these new cars. And that's where I got my passion for cars is being around it as a kid. And this is the car, as I said, that we rode in uh, as, a, as a child. Went to Myrtle Beach on vacation in this car in the late 1980s, or I'm sorry, the early 1980s, like 1980 actually. Then moved down here to Myrtle Beach in 81. This is the car we had. So it has a lot of childhood memories. That's why I wanted to buy it. Same color combination, same pretty much everything. Um, so I had it a couple of months, showed my dad, drove it, played with it. You know, paint corrected it, got it right. I put the four new tires on because um, the tires that were on it were also white walls, but I couldn't get them super white. And I'm very, very picky, so I bought a brand new set of tires for it. Car's been serviced, the air's ice cold, everything works, power antenna works, um, rides like a dream. Now, you notice you got, I've got this steering wheel cover. I've already taken it off once. I, I don't necessarily like them, they're a pain in the butt. So I unravel the whole thing to discover a crack right in the middle of the top of the, of the uh, wheel here. So I have, strung the whole thing back up and left it on. Someone asked about it. I guess they thought that there wasn't, you know, they want to see the condition of the wheel. I said, well, look, there's a crack, one crack right down the middle. And um, he said, it's fine, don't worry about it. You know, it just didn't, he wanted to make sure that, you know, that there was some damage, he you know, knew what it was. So you got that going on. It looks all right, it's okay. I mean, it was kind of, a lot of people put these on back in the day. Um, as far as the condition of the car, super clean. You saw the engine bay restoration that we did. Cleaned everything. Every wire, hose, piece of metal or bracket got touched and cleaned or refinished. Uh, the inside of the car, from what I'm told, is completely original. I mean, these seats have held up incredibly. If these are the original seats, they've held up incredibly well. The carpet is extremely clean. There's no cracks in the dash. This one door panel had a couple of hairline, little tiny, you have to really look, little splits in them, but very, very minimal. Horn works, cruise works. Like I said, air is cold, wipers work but just a really well-preserved car. Like I said, the, the paint on it's very nice. All the chrome is okay, it's not perfect, but unless you want to take it to concourse condition, I think the chrome is fine for what for what you have here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and uh, step on it, kind of get on it a little bit so you can see it accelerates fine, no hesitations, no skips. Flip the breather upside down, which gives it a little more air. 
you'll hear that uh, quadrajet kicking in a little, a little stronger. So anyway, check it out, guys. Any questions, put them in the comment section. Appreciate you guys looking, and good luck bidding.